Robin Laughlin, citizen at large. Um, I'm very excited about Peter Worth's bill that I read about in an email um, to label our foods, whether they have genetically engineered or GMO. Parts. I got an email from a friend who is worried that the governor appoints the New Mexico Environmental Board, which is which will decide the standards for GE content. So it says the the board shall adopt and promulgate rules to establish standards for measuring and quantifying the amount of genetically modified material in food. So I just thought, wanted to hear what you thought about that, and I also hope that Brian was still working on the state bank. Great. Well, thank you. Uh, this is Senate Bill 18, which is pre-filed. Let me just say this about our uh, legislative website. It's, it's a terrific tool if you're interested in the legislature and following bills. Uh, you can either Google in New Mexico legislature or it's nmlegis.gov, uh, www.nmlegis.gov. And you can actually put in this bill, Senate Bill 18, and it will give you alerts when it comes up for committee hearings. So, you know, the issue you bring up, Robin, is kind of the classic legislative journey that we go through uh, in terms of the details that are involved in something like this. Uh, I, I don't think this bill's ever, something like this has ever been introduced in New Mexico to require labeling. Uh, we've had a number of GMO bills, uh, actually, that have come very close to passing, uh, have been kind of umbrella under the Farmer Protection Act, our local farmers, that many of whom I'm sure are selling right here at the farmer's market, uh, are being challenged by GMO producers, Monsanto in particular, who's got a farm next door with a GMO crop and the seed blows across and all of a sudden they're challenged for some kind of patent infringement. So we've had bills to protect New Mexico farms that have come, in fact, tied on the floor of the Senate, I believe, last year uh, or the year before. Uh, so we've had that. Th this bill is one that I think uh, just makes common sense. Again, food is something extraordinarily important to all of us, and I just think that consumers should know what they're eating and have the choice and be able to make that decision. Uh, in Europe, GMO food is completely banned. GMOs are banned. Uh, in Japan and China, they're banned. Forty percent of the world, they're banned. We're not seeking to ban GMOs. It's simply a question of labeling them. And so, uh, again, this is going to be an interesting discussion. It's been, uh, I've had quite an extraordinary response. Obviously, there was a huge initiative in California. Millions and millions of dollars spent. It was defeated. Uh, and I think, but this is a discussion that needs to continue to happen, and I think we'll have that discussion. And these issues about, you're absolutely right, when you get into the, we passed the bill, but you can't legislate all the details. And so the issue of what you can do with rules and regulations, uh, Brian's been dealing with this in the environmental arena, obviously, with you know, Governor Richardson really aggressively pushed to use the administrative agencies and rules and regulations and the Environment Improvement Board to do a wide range of things that now uh, the current administration wants to pull back and is pulling back. So you get this tension back and forth, and it's a certainly a good point. But I think it'll be a good, a good discussion and an important discussion. Okay, Barbara Murphy. Thank you, gentlemen, and thank you, neighbors. I had to write my question. I am in excruciating pain, imagining, imagining the excruciating pain of the children murdered, children who, as columnist Bill Stewart told me Sunday, felt to him like his own children. They feel to me like mine too, my little ones. But the response of my country does not feel to me like my country but one that belongs to a crowd of unimagining, ignorant human trash. The U.S. reacted to the destruction of the World Trade Center powerfully. The World Trade Center was a private commercial office building with a 